Well, Adam, right now it is windy, it is cold, and as you can see around me, the roads are quite slick. We have lots of accumulation of ice right now at this time. We are standing here right now in Leaf Square or Jurassic Park, and earlier today, MLSC issued a statement saying they were cancelling festivities that are happening here at the square due to inclement weather. Now, we are expecting about 20,000 people to pour out of the Raptors game later on today, and the TTC says they are prepared for this. We've been applying uh, antifreeze to the overhead networks just to make sure that we're keeping ice free from the wires for streetcars. We've actually increased volume of streetcars on a number of our downtown core routes uh, to ensure that they're running smoothly, and we've replaced streetcar service with buses on St. Clair to help us do that. We definitely have additional resources at all the major hubs. Uh, we have extra staff at St. George, at Union Station, at Bloor Young, and also at St. Clair and St. Clair West to help uh, with customers who are looking to take the bus along the Fox Wall route instead of the streetcar. Metrolinx also ahead of the game. They say they've had a plan for the last few days. We were planning ahead, you know, 40, 24 to 48 hours in advance for the storm. So we had crews coming in early uh, today, our maintenance facilities, to make sure that all our buses and trains are ready to go uh, on time. And we have uh, crews out monitoring the rail corridor throughout, making sure there's no debris, no ice buildup, uh, clearing all that, making sure the switches and the signals are all working properly and are all uh, maintained properly. And we're pre-salting and we're salting our, our parking lots and our stations and our platforms to make sure that Nobody's safe and nobody's slipping. That's sort of the thing, the stuff we do in advance and, and during as well. We're in constant contact with our operators and our drivers, buses in particular, to let them know what the latest road conditions are and to, what, to be, what to be aware of when they're out on the road. Also, some power outages of no south of the GTA. As you can see right now, this is the Hydro One website. And basically, there are some a cluster of power outages anywhere from Hamilton all the way through to the London area. In the city of Toronto, there's not many, but Toronto Hydro does say that they have about 30 crews that are out and about making sure that everything is running smoothly. And they also have a backup plan in case they do need more crews. And now, as you can see, the ice is going into my face. So thankfully, Adam Stiles gave me these goggles. You may need them if you're out in a boat because you don't want to get pelted in the face. Coming up, we'll have more on your weather coverage.